Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities morning podcast uh, in today's podcast we would be discussing what to expect in nifty and bank nifty from here on along with the key levels for both the indices uh, we'll also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading sessions uh, in trade yesterday after the sharp cuts that were witnessed on monday uh, nifty witnessed a minor rebound uh, ending the session 0.59% higher Outperformance was visible in Bank Nifty as it gained 1.38% for the day, rebounding from its 200 DMA. Uh, the US CPI numbers, which were announced yesterday, were higher than expected, and this has led to the dollar index inching further higher uh, towards 104.80 levels, and the US 10-year bond yields are also uh, inching higher towards 4.3%. Uh, these higher inflationary readings could delay the beginning of the rate cut cycle in the US market. Uh, this fear led to profit booking in the S&P 500 yesterday, uh, which has uh, corrected by 1.5%, along with the CBOE VIX uh, witnessing a spike from 13 to 16 levels in trade yesterday. Uh, going forward, the level for the S&P 500 would be the support level would be 4,850. Uh, should be witnessed as an important support standpoint and in case the S&P 500 sustains below uh, 4850 it could uh, revisit uh, its next support zone uh, placed closer towards 4760-4780 levels. Uh, Brent crude has witnessed a renewed momentum in the last week and is trading near its swing high uh, till it holds the level of 78. There is a likelihood of this momentum extending towards $85-$86 a barrel and this could act as a headwind for the domestic equity markets at the current juncture. Uh, coming to the volatility in our markets, so if you see India VIX in the past few session is sustaining around 16 levels, indicating a gradual rise in the overall volatility and choppiness ahead of the general elections. Uh, we expect India VIX to initially move up to 17.8 levels and in case that is surpassed, it could further rise towards 20 to 20-22 levels on the upside. Hence, one should uh, reduce leverage and regularly keep booking profits at higher levels. Also, one should be uh, selectively placed in large caps and reduce exposure in mid cap and small caps where the results are not coming in line with the price action. Uh, coming to Nifty levels, um, uh, today we expect uh, a gap down opening for our markets in tandem with the sharp sell off which was seen in the US markets in trade yesterday. So post the gap down opening, index is likely to witness resistance at higher levels around 21,700-21,750 zone uh, which is the 10 and 20 EMA zone where the, uh, where the resistance is and strong support is placed at uh, at the current juncture at 21,550 levels which is formed by the upward sloping trend line formed by joining the important swing lows that is uh, the level of 18,837 formed uh, in October 2023. Uh, below the level of 21,550 there could be further with selling pressure towards the levels of 21,460-21,380 on the downside. Uh, coming to the OI data, uh, Nifty futures ended the day up 0.55% while the cumulative open interest surged by 1.4%. Uh, Nifty put call ratio is currently at 0.81 level. So despite the minor short covering in calls witnessed yesterday, significant uh, call open interest built up is witnessed in 21,822,000 strikes. While on the put side, it is witnessed mainly in 21,500 and 21,000 strikes, 21,600 strikes. So implying support in the zone of 21,400, 21,460 levels and resistance in the zone of 21,750, 21,830 levels. The overall range for the coming few sessions could be 21,400 on the downside and 21,830 on the upside. Uh, coming to Bank Nifty, uh, so the levels of 45,600, 45,700 is likely to act as a resistance. Until this is not crossed, expect selling pressure at all rises. Uh, support is seen in the zone of uh, 45,000, 44,900, uh, which is the 200 DMA level. In case 44,900 breaks, the index can test its next swing support placed at uh, 44,500, 44,600 mark. And uh, only once the index manages to take out the levels of 45,700, 
uh, there could be a short covering uh, move in the index towards the mark of 46,100-46,300 levels. Uh, if we look at the open interest data for Bank Nifty, so Bank Nifty futures gained 1.26% while the cumulative open interest surged by 2.78%. Uh, if we see the PCR for Bank Nifty, it is currently at 0.96%. Uh, so despite uh, the calm short covering which was visible in 40, uh, 45,400-45,300 strikes, uh, despite this, uh, sig the, there is significant uh, call OI still visible uh, in 45,500-45,600 strikes and on the put side it is seen in 45,500-45,000 strikes. So implying a broad range of 45,700 on the upside and 44,900 on the downside. Uh, the most uh, influential stock whose earnings are due today is Mahindra and Mahindra. So Mahindra and Mahindra would be announcing its numbers later in the day. Uh, if you see the broader market bullish setup was observed in the likes of Wipro, Apollo Hospital, Sipla, Adani Ports, Bajaj Auto, uh, TCS, OFFS, uh, Voltas, Max Health and EG Scam. Coming to the FII DI data, uh, in the cash segment if you see both FIs and DIs were net buyers to the tune of 800, uh, 376 crores and 273 crores respectively. FI long short ratio for index futures is at 35.24 on a net basis uh, as they covered around 4060 contracts in index futures. On the stock futures front, FIs have bought to the tune of 28,023 contracts while on the options front, FIs bought 63,532 call contracts and bought 284 put option contracts so friends that's all for today thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead uh, do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing